and palm trees in the background yeah. too. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, we're so excited to be here with Nimi, who <laughs> you've taken a time out. I know you got a big. Oh yeah, I want to show. Ba- yeah, why don't you we'll show off your your baby bump, the bump. there? The bump. <laughs> and do any day now, right? I know. I mean, yes. We were joking just now that you could be, uh, your water could break in the red carpet and that would make news. How cool is that? That would be awesome. But you know, at least I know I have a lot of help of people helping me get the baby up. So it'd be cool. Oh my God. And you got a supportive husband and you know, I'm just uh, so excited because you know, like I said to you, what attracted me to want to come out and interview you guys is, you know, on your Instagram, the first thing that you put is that you're a Christian. And I just think that is so cool, that is so brave in this day and age, and it's uh, very, uh, it's unique almost. So tell us a little bit about, you know, um, I'm sure it was purposeful to put that first identifier on your Instagram. Yes, I mean, for me, like, when I I came out here to California many years ago, like, I wanted to make sure that even though I'm coming into an industry where there's just so much chaos, it could be so much chaos going, and I want to make sure I'm grounded in my faith. In pursuing this career, I wanted to stay true to myself. I didn't want anything to deteriorate me from from the path God has planted for me. So, like being a Christian in this industry to me is so important. I want to make sure that I'm able to impact people as much as I possibly can. I want to make sure I could do good for God. And when I go to heaven, I want God to be proud of me for what I'm doing. You know, so yeah, being that- a Christian is so important for me. That's amazing. And, um, you know, as far as roles, I know um, as an actress, as an artist, you have to chart your path. Mm -hmm. Um, What are some of those qualifiers when you do take roles? And, you know, what are the things you look for? And what are the things that would make you say, hey, I'll pass on this? Well, there's been, I've had like a few of my um, previous agents and reps that have, you know, asked me, you know, would you do nudity? Would you do... Um, same sex, kissing, all those things, and I deny it, decline it, and say, I'm I, sorry, I can't do that, you know, because of my faith, that's not what I'm about. Um, sometimes they try to push me for it, you know, because the money is good, and, you know, a lot of people won't do it, but I, I always go to my faith and say, no, you know, I, that's not what I'm about, that's not me as a person, so... You know, it, they respect that, me. That's very that. strong, and that's uh, that's a real um, th- that's very brave of you mm-hmm. because a lot of people kind of go the desperation oh, route yeah. or the scarcity mindset mm-hmm. of oh, I need to jump on everything that comes my way. Mm-hmm. So that is some real strength and a great foundation. I've read your history. You're from uh, Texas, right? I am. So tell us a little bit about that coming from Texas to California to pursue your acting. Well, before I did um, acting, I pursued music. I did music when I was in Texas, and being there, it's the music industry is not strong. Mm-hmm. Um, so I decided to come to California. We did on that. <laughs> Came to California, um, pursued a little bit here. Then I went to, went to New York, pursued it there, and then I was like, you know what? Let me let me hit hard on acting, seeing what I can do. You know, I did theater growing up and everything in Texas. Um, and when I came here to Los Angeles, I really um, I loved it. I loved, you know, the diversity that I had with my my um, my talent, which is music and acting. But I put music to pause and I started pursuing acting full time. And it's been a very interesting journey. It's been a blessing. Um, I met amazing people along the way, mm-hmm. and it's it's been fun. That's great. And I'm um, assuming you met your husband here. So oh, let's, yes. intru- let's introduce him. <laughs> Our Orange County native, right? No, I'm actually from Oregon. From Oregon. Oh, okay. yeah. We we moved. We both moved to California at the same time. Yeah. Oh, we just wow. Never, we, we t- never took us met. years to, to match up after we got here. So how do you guys meet? Tell us uh, the story. So the story that we told our parents <laughs> is we met at church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Not> true. <laughs> the, the, the true story is, uh, is uh, we, we met online and we found out as we were communicating mm-hmm. online that we went to the same church. Mm-hmm. We just went different days and we never ran into each wow. other. Wow. So it's really funny. Like our, our Facebook memories has a lot of those same like, you know, pictures from that day at church. But we were, we were at the same place at the same time, just never made that connection at that point. That is so cool, actually. Yeah. Kind of true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I tell her all the time, like, we would have met some way because there, we had so many people in common that were friends of friends mm-hmm. that were just random, like, random, random connections that was like, we would have had to connect. Yeah. We would have had to It would have happened eventually. Yeah. God had a plan. Yeah. Yep. 
and you know it was just a matter of time when world collided right, right? exactly exactly right. yeah that's great but now you've settled down both of you in mission viejo right yeah yeah, yeah. we love it we love, we it, love out here. it here it's amazing we love we i mean we love la we love being in la we love going to hollywood we love being a part of that that life but at the same time it's so nice to just come back just home mellow down in a relaxed yeah. environment yeah. where you know you don't have to burn a bunch of energy to go to the grocery store you right. can just go, <laughs> go and take care of things absolutely <laughs> And I think that balance is important, right? For you to have rest, recuperate, and then grow from that. And of course, now you're growing your family. Yes. So I'm so excited about that. Um, Do we know if it's a boy or a girl yet? It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, my goodness. But we were both team boy. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're like... (laughs) Well, we were were actually nervous because we, we didn't know. We had a gender reveal. And we both, everybody just kept saying, oh, it's going to be a girl, it's yeah. going to be a girl. Yeah. We were both nervous, and I looked at Amy right before we found out if it was a boy or a girl, and we said, okay, this is on the internet. Yeah. This is going to be forever, so we can't be upset if it's a girl. Yeah. And so there was just like this. You were prepared. So yeah. We did like silly string, and so I'm like, as soon we're as we waiting, saw I was blue. like, as soon as we saw Blue from our family, where I was like, yes, yeah, It was like just this huge relief. But you can see my face. I was like, <laughs> oh, that is great. And I'm sure even if it was a girl, Girl, you guys oh, are we yeah, really happy. happy. Too, yeah. so. yes. A mini me yeah. walking around would be awesome. <laughs> yes. Someday. Someday, yes. So what a mini nimi? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a that's a what palindrome? So you spell <laughs> backwards, it works too. So great, great. So I'm uh, super excited and I um, I'm glad I caught you guys before you know uh, you'll be giving birth yes. and uh, probably out for a little bit. Yeah. So what are your plans for after, you know, after um, the baby's, uh, you know, at home. Are you going to go back to acting or what's, uh, do you have some roles lined up, some projects? So for me, once I really want to make sure I master down motherhood because I'm just like looking up so much stuff, asking so many questions. So I'm going to give myself maybe about three to six months to really ground that mm-hmm. down. And then once that's, I've established that, then yes, I'm going to go back and, mm-hmm. and go back to acting and doing some things. Um, I have a friend of mine who introduced me to one of the directors that she used to work with in the mm-hmm. past and she told me referred me to them so they're going to be filming a project a series in tampa florida so i'm excited about it i already have the script already reading it trying to knock down a memorization already everything so i'm excited about it so and what's that what's this uh is it a series or is it a movie what what's it's, i think it's a it's just a, it's a, like tv series I okay guess. small run small run okay yeah something like that i for netflix or yeah Windows. yeah and it's like an action pack which is my She's element been waiting for that role i'm okay. waiting for this role <laughs> i love i'm like and even that after the baby i'm gonna like get my workout going i want to take krav maga okay I, I really want to take krav maga so much i want to get my fighting skills down um yeah, so I'm prepared, I'm ready, I'm like, oh, I can't project. wait. So that means you develop a fighting skill, yes. and then you also work out at the same time. Mm-hmm. So talk about killing two birds with one stone. Exactly, yeah. Like, the irony of it all is that before pregnancy, I was working out, drinking water, getting myself in order, and then when pregnancy happened, water doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> working out is like, never. So, it's, I wonder, I'm, I'm curious of how my body's yeah. gonna get back to everything. And my favorite, one of my favorite Instagrams was how much this guy pampers you. I know! <laughs> so tell us about oh, that was fun. <laughs> the pampering <laughs> routine here. <laughs> Yeah, just, I, I mean, really, it's every, every time she says, baby, I'm there. I'm there for her. Whatever she needs. It's like, okay. Like, I know I'll get it back later in life with, you know, when the sun's running around. Hey, come here. Give me that remote. Over there. I'll get it back at that point. But right now, she's got, I, I'm that for her. So, yeah. hey, can you hand me that right over there? Oh, it's right so you hear that. That's an investment. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. very. Investment for the Do you future. see what we women go through? It's, it's like, it's work, man. Absolutely. It's like organs here. Yeah, and it's so great. I just, you know, um, just so the audience knows, uh, Nimi just had a wonderful baby shower. I was not able to attend. I really wanted to, but I was booked on three things that day, oh, wow. um, which is why we're here today. But I'm going to be writing a little bit about the baby shower, thanks to Yvette, who's got a <laughs> bit of uh, pictures for me and everything. So we'll be we'll be uh, writing about that. But tell us how that went. And, you know, um, I, I guess a lot of celebrities came and, you know, you chose to do it in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I was like, God, if you did it in Mission Viejo, I would have come. <laughs> I know. But, well, that's the hardest part yeah. is... is, is 
sometimes it's hard to get Hollywood people to come well, to Orange County, Orange County, but yeah. Orange County people will always go to Hollywood. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they'll make that sacrifice for just that day to go to Hollywood. Yeah. It's gonna happen. It was it was it was a great it was a great event. Mm -hmm. We had an amazing venue, the Queen Violet and WeHo, mm -hmm. and um, the food was amazing. People in the atmosphere. It was, like it was Chinese Thai fusion. Yeah. Oh, so wow. We had, like, we had so orange chicken, but it was like not normal orange it's chicken. Really it was good. really good. Okay. It's hard to, it's hard to describe. I don't like orange chicken. Yeah, no, I don't either. Okay. I don't either. And this was great. Chicken. This was great. If but it's if it's well. gourmet yes. orange chicken, orange chicken. Yeah. I think I'll do it. Yeah. Then we had, then we had uh, what? The, the, um, noodles and noodles. Yeah, the garlic noodles. Garlic noodles. And the, it was, oh, man, oh the gosh. food was just amazing. Yeah, and it's, it was a, so it's a brand new restaurant, so yeah. that was one of the highlights for them was they were able to show off their, their mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate them opening the space up for us. And especially, it's a little bit last minute to get the space. Yeah, so, yeah. but it was so a blessing that we got that they, it. They were there for us. Yeah. yeah so. And did you uh, get lots of presents? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Two, a van load and a car load full. So man. Oh my gosh. I, today I was sorting out clothes. This baby is, is set for life. Yeah. Like, yes. we don't need to buy anything anymore. Like, there's so much clothes. I'm just like, oh my goodness. How is he going to wear all this? How is this going to work? That is wonderful. You're going to be doing outfit changes three times a day just oh, yeah. to wear everything. Just to wear it. That is so exciting. So, um,. Nimi, uh, you're originally from Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? So tell us a little bit about that. And I read in your bio that you did live there for a few years. Mm -hmm. So I know um, I sense this great, uh, uh, this gratitude in your spirit just from everything I've seen, you know, and that's one of the reasons I was so excited to talk to you. Tell us a little bit about, you know, you've lived many different places in America, like uh, Texas, here, Nigeria. Tell us uh, why Orange County is the place you decided to settle down in. Um, well, yeah, like you mentioned, I did grow up in Nigeria. I was there for about five years. My father took me there and uh, wanted to show me, I guess, the culture and everything. Um, it was nice. I remember people think, oh, do you remember yourself when you were... I was like, I remember. I had a dog named Muffy. <laughs> I had a best friend named Chi Chi. I had a snake that my dog decided to attack and save us from. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it was really fun being over there. And then when I came to the back to the States, I came when I was five. And then been growing up ever since here. Um, yeah, I lived all over the place. And I'm, I'm Mission Viejo is the spot because I love it here. It's just so much. It's peaceful. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. It's it's family oriented. Um, the lake's beautiful. The, the lake, the yes. The lake gorgeous. is gorgeous. Yes. And it's just like where we live, it gives me, it's like almost suburban, like how I grew mm -hmm. up in Texas. Yeah. So it gives me that there's space. Yes. It's not no one's piling on top of each other in certain parts of Orange County, but where we <laughs> live, it's space. Um, it's just a, it's just a nice place to be. It Absolutely. really is. It's really nice. It's paradise. Yes. It really feels like it. The people here are really nice. They're sweet. It's we, like Texas. Right? Yes. We pinch ourselves often. We're like, how did we wind up here? Yeah. How do we get here? How do we get into this this place? Because neither of us would have picked Mission Viejo on a map. Because you're from Oregon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oregon yeah. are you from? From Eugene. From okay, Eugene. so the ducks. that's the boon yeah, <laughs> no, ducks. boondocks. No, ducks. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's in the woods, yeah. and, and it's every, I mean, five minutes from my parents' house, yeah. I used to go to my spot where there's nice. just a complete isolation and just forest. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we, I mean, we both kind of just wound up here, and we just found found it, and it like, it really is like we, we like I said we pinch ourselves and we, we go how do we how did mm -hmm. how did this work out that we wound mm -hmm. up here because this is just an amazing yeah, place to be. a great place to raise a family definitely too. Yeah, yeah yeah and and really to contrast from the hustle and bustle in Hollywood and all of the stuff that you know you probably want to keep your kids innocence mm -hmm. and yeah. and shelter them and, from and it's not far in, far away enough that we can't go and still. You right. know, be a part of that right. and, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I know is a frustration for Nimi is when you know a lot of friends specifically you know friends from back home mm -hmm. or church friends when they go oh, how can you be a part of that Hollywood yeah. you know mm -hmm. as a Christian how can you be a part of that mm -hmm. and and that's one of the things that it's like well how are we going to impact something if we're not engaged exactly. Exactly. you know if we're not going in and <laughs> we're not making relationships and building building opportunities mm -hmm. How are, we gonna, how are we going to make? Yeah, how are we going to make an impact? And and I mean, our famous quote is, uh, you know, preach the gospel in all way, in, in, at all times, and when necessary, use words. Yep. Absolutely. And so a lot of times, just us living our lives 
in, in as people of faith is is presenting that to people mm -hmm. and, and they know they notice they go wait a second there's something different here and you you would not be surprised how many people come to us at their low point and say all right, right help me out because you guys have something going on that mm -hmm. I need in my life right. and and we're always able to be be, be that light in the darkness yep. absolutely by being that contrast too it's a very uh, stark contrast uh, you you just living your life speaks volumes and can be an inspiration to many who are quietly watching yes. which is what I've I've noticed you know with um, the same way I do things I say oh I never expected this person to contact me yeah. like you said yeah. at their low point but apparently they're watching yeah. so yeah. that's super powerful so you guys are really big role models now Christian film is supposed to be that. It's a way for us to go evangelize, share our values, and sharing our compelling stories. But I'll be very honest and candid, a lot of Christian film comes off cheesy, yeah. comes off not well produced, mm -hmm. which instantly can turn off people who are going to watch it. Where do you see Christian film now? And I, I, I know you guys wanna share one of your favorite new films, yeah. that has broken from that mold. Mm -hmm. I certainly saw that with the movie Unplanned. Mm -hmm. yes. When I watched Unplanned, yes. I said, oh, yes. I'm going to put the full weight of my you know, activist and organizational efforts to promote a movie oh, yeah. like this because mm -hmm. it was so powerful. Mm -hmm. It was uh, well, well paced, well told, well made me cry. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, where in the, what is the state of Christian film today? <laughs> so yeah we actually this is a question we've been talking about with a lot of people we went to um, the International Christian Film Festival in Orlando Florida this last May and we actually sat down with a, a guy an actor that is in every one of those cheesy Christian movies <laughs> and we we asked that same question man what's up with this you know this is the persona one of the things he said is if you got to look at Christian film as kind of at its infancy right it's beginning to you know if you compare Christian film at its infancy to some of the some of the big studios and their infant films you would see kind of the same type of thing but they've learned how to own their craft and we're learning how to own our craft too um i think that there's really good productions out there's really good, there's teams that are getting way better mm -hmm. um and so like one of the movies i'm looking forward to is american underdog the american kurt warner underdog. kurt warner story um that's produced by the Irwin brothers, the I brothers think. yeah and then um we just were blown away we went um just so last weekend to watch the Chosen Christmas special. And the Chosen is a, is, a, is a series. So first of all, largest crowdsourced film, crowdsourced movie ever, series ever. Okay. And they're doing a multi-season series on the, not just the life of Christ, but really it's, it's really about the disciples around Christ. Oh, wonderful. And so it there brings all this, uh, all this dynamic to each character because when you you know when you're reading the scriptures you're reading okay so Paul and John and James went with him to see this that's what you read but really what were their reactions what were they thinking what were they, they talking about in the process families. so yeah. yeah they have this great this great presentation of each individual even even the character of Matthew mm -hmm. who is a you know a tax collector reform well what type of personality was that and they you know they take artistic ability that's not necessarily in scripture they they paint a picture of what Matthew was like and what's great is and it is. The representation right so matthew is actually portrayed as an autistic person mm -hmm. oh. and in kind of a sense of he's an outcast on both sides he's an outcast to the romans he's an outcast to the right. jews mm -hmm. and so that's kind of the personality that could do that job somebody that's good with numbers that's very focused and diligent mm -hmm. on one specific project and so to see like real life people living this experience is really cool and so they just did a christmas special they did one they, they've done so they're on their second they just wrapped their second season they did the Christmas special their first season that they, everything is direct broadcast streaming. Mm -hmm. um, they just did their second one, they opened it in Fathom events. They broke the record the first night, $1.6 million in ticket sales with Fathom. So Fathom, they had two nights, two night premiere. Yes. Two night premiere, Fathom immediately said, oh no, we need you 10 nights. <laughs> so they, they said, okay, we'll give you 10 nights. That's wonderful. Um, first night it opened, December 1st, it set, um, it, it was the top grossing movie in the country. It topped uh, House of Gucci's opening. Um, or everything else, that's like a, that's everything that's just come out, it topped all of those in its opening. And then, so then uh, this week I was reading that Fathom came to them and said, okay, we want to run this 10 more days. And they said, well, we'll do that. But one of their big things is 
they want to make it free to everyone. Mm -hmm. So they have it on their app, and they said, we're going to stream it. And even though it's still in theaters, we're still going to stream it. Wow. And I said, okay, that's fine. Do it. That is I'm wonderful. So, I love hearing stuff like that. Like, it's just knowing that it's going to, like, this is impacting so many people in so many ways is just glorious to me. You know what I mean? With everything that's going on in the world, you know there is a need for this. You know, so it's uh, I love and, it. And it's and it's really, really it's high good. production. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very, very high production. Every single person I've said, "Hey, I got a, sh I got a show for you to watch. It's about the life of Christ." They're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "Until I see it." <laughs> <laughs> then, then they're like, they're like wow. "Wow." Yeah, and they, I mean, yeah. people attract to ca certain characters. Yeah. And it's funny. We watch it with a group of friends and at our church. Each each one of the people has a different favorite, mm -hmm. right? Each person has a different favorite character. So we're all watching for our <laughs> characters, little oh, you know, interactions and stuff. So yes. So and you guys go to church here in Mission Viejo in Orange, in Orange in, County, in the city okay. of Orange. Orange yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Elevate Ministries. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We love it. Good community of people. Yeah, it's a. It's, well, that was our big thing. Is we, you know, the church we met at was in LA, mm -hmm. and I was I was commuting to go to church. I would work up there often, so I go there. Wow. She was living in LA at mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. and and that was the one thing that we said when we came here is we got to find a church where there's community, mm -hmm. yes. because we we are at the time we're newlywed and we need people that are going to help guide us mm -hmm. in this in this life that we're living. Mm -hmm. And so we found that with this church, we found a great group of. I mean, we probably have like probably 15 couples that are always looking out yeah. for us and checking in yeah. us. <laughs> so yeah. So a real community here in yes. Orange County. I love it. Yes. So um, as far as uh, I know uh, you are primarily an actress that has dabbled in music. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be bringing the music back um, in you know your future uh, endeavors? No. Someday. 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 Yeah. Someday. My thing is establish one and then take care of the other. You know. Yeah. So I want to make Be sure excellent. It, yes. I don't like you always hear people that are like, oh, I do this, 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 master of none. You got yeah. saying that goes. So, like, I want to make sure I focus on one, master that, that way it can fund and carry the other, you know? Right. So, she, she has friends that are like, oh, I, I'm a writer and an actor mm -hmm. and a director and a producer. She's like, no, 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 just be just one. Be one. Just focus on just one be, and do great be, at be that. Stay in teacher. your lane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> So um, as far as the roles that you want to pick, I, I think both of you, I want to ask this question to both of you. Uh, what's, um, I know you're excited about this action role that's mm -hmm. coming up, and that's really cool, but what other areas do you want to uh, explore and expand into? My ultimate goal as, a, for, as an actress, my overall just what I want to do is um, I, I want to be a superhero. <laughs> I want to be a superhero so bad. Or a supervillain. Or a supervillain, whichever one. <laughs> I'm into like, like Marvel and DC. I love my Flash. I love my Wonder Woman. I love my everything. Like Aquaman, all of it. All of it. I love all of it. So that's my... I'll, before I came here, I was watching Flash today. So <laughs> <laughs> I need to catch up on my Flash. So, like, superhero. Yeah. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, like there's a Batwoman TV series yeah. now. I mean, Marvel's really, and you know, this year Shang-Chi is like oh, a yeah. huge yeah, hit. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. wow. It's becoming very multicultural now yeah. as I far as, you know, our heroes. So. My, my like ultimate like character. You're going to say you're gonna okay, no, no, tell them. It's fine. No, it's fine. I, hey, I always tell them, be careful what you say because somebody else will hear that and then they'll want to do it. And but then, yeah. Say it, and then say it, say it, no, say no, hold on. No, no. I'm, I'm like, darn it. <laughs> darn it. I'm like, should I say it or should I say it? I'm like, I'll oh, say it. No. Wonder Woman has a twin sister. Yes. That's a villain. Yes. That's a complete yes. opposite and she's of her. Dark -skinned. She's a dark skinned black woman. Yes. Oh, the so yin and the yang. There. Exactly. Yes. You want to be the yang. Yes. You want to be the darkness. Yes. I yeah. love it. So okay. I'm like, I want to. I, so I wanted to say because I want to manifest it. And so if they're watching, you know yes. who you're talking to. Right <laughs> Let here. Let's put it out. Put it out there. Put it out there. So. Yes. She wants to be the villain. Yes. The antithesis to yes. Wonder Woman. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. I think my, my, for her, I like the roles I want to see her in is just, I, I know how, how proud she is of her work and when she, when she's able to get something that's impactful. Mm -hmm. So that's, mm -hmm. that's my big prayer for her is always that she would be given opportunities to make a difference because that's ultimately what this is all about yeah. is 
is to impact someone's life and to make a positive impact in someone's life. So whatever she can do that can be that spot that, that, that would inspire somebody, encourage somebody, help them to you know reach their goals is, is always my prayer for her. Get a, get a, I want a, a good role, a strong role that's going to stir some hearts. That's what I want. Like... And of if course, I, and one impact, of your and impact, huh? and your bucket list is to do Christian films. Yes, yes. <laughs> do I, I've auditioned Christian for some films. Christian films. I've auditioned. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard back. Have you thought of going on the producer and the uh, uh, directing or screenwriting end of things? Mm, I thought of it, but I was like, mm, let me not dibble and dabble. Let me, that's, let, that's, that's that's where I support her. Yes. So that's a, that's my support to her. Yes. It's like, okay, let me figure out what that means. It, you know, if we need to produce something, let me figure out how to produce it, and then I can put you in it. Mm -hmm. Let me back you up in that. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, people ask me because I've written some things, directed some things, and they've asked me, well, what is what 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 is your ultimate goal in it? And that's to build her career. Like it's yeah. it's to build her up. Like I I would not be at all interested in any of that if it wasn't a way that I could help build her up. Yeah. And what are the stories you guys want to both collectively want to get out there? Because I know there's a lot of uh, things that Hollywood has been on this cookie cutter oh, formula yeah. for a long time now. Yeah, but just thinks. now we're starting to see interesting, newer, more offbeat stories. Yeah, we're tired of the remakes. Yeah. Remakes, remakes, remakes and the reboots, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> like no more Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. I'm we're, done. We're done with the Ghost, <laughs> Ghostbusters. Especially when you've, when you've redone it two year, <laughs> you know, year after year. It's like how much more altering do you want to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's make it all female now, but just kidding. Yeah, what? yeah. Right. They're gonna, Psych. they're gonna be gone in the next one. <laughs> no, I think I think the important stories for us to tell are the stories of faith, are the stories um, that uh, some of our lived experiences, um, some of the stuff that she's been through. You know, growing up in a Nigerian household. Having um, the you know the experience of you know a lot of a lot of especially coming from parents of immigrants um, for her it's you know there's a specific line that you need to follow there's a specific path that you need to go and when she reached out and kind of pursued her artistic um, pursuit that wasn't well accepted in the yeah. household yeah wow and so so being able to tell that story being able to tell um, really the stories of faith that we've experienced where we've seen God move in our lives and we're miracles seeing, yeah seeing things happen you know in our friends lives and being able to tell tell those type of stories and then of course like I think ultimate my favorite stories ever that we, we ever watch are always redemption stories yeah. oh, right yes. stories where, yeah. where the guy comes back and all of a sudden you know he, he's that key character that helps change things mm -hmm. and so um, I think that was yeah exactly that those, those, me crying. <laughs> those those uh, you know redemption uh, what is it we always say redemption and restoration, restoration. Mm -hmm. and restoration not in the way we see it should be mm -hmm. the way God intended God, it to yep. be. oh so. that's beautiful yep. so we hope to see that in the roles you're gonna take mm -hmm. and also and hopefully your production <laughs> and screenwriting so you know, and yeah, let's uh, thank you for taking the time. Um, any last words, and you know, to our audience, and make sure to plug your social media as well. Okay. okay. Um, well, first of all, thank you for interviewing us. It means a lot. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you guys want to follow me, my Instagram is at the Royal Mimi. That's T H E R E A L Mimi, and it's a Nancy I, Amazon Mary I, Mimi. Or your. Me, me, me. itself. <laughs> yeah, it's how you say it, but not how you spell it. Yeah, not how you no, spell, not it. How you spell it. It's how you say it. Yeah, it's basically mini backwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also, do you have a website or just your Instagram mostly? Yes, I have a website. It's mimiadokie.com. I'll spell that. Mimi, N I M I Adokie, A D O K I Y E at yeah. I mean. <laughs> Give her email. Give her old school email address. She's like at Rocket Mail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> at Excel. <laughs> at AOL. AOL. <laughs> Leave me a okay .com. Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> That's great. And then we can follow your career. And also, I'm sure you'll be posting when your beautiful baby yes. comes in. Joins us. Yeah, we've are, we've already been posting ultrasounds. Yeah, I know that like, ultrasound was so cute. so cute. And you said that this is a tall baby, he huh? Is yeah, all of him. Ninety eight, ninety percent. Well, you said ninety percent. Oh no, tall. I'm, I'm like five five. Five I'm, five is yeah. still pretty tall. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> but you're something what, yeah, like six, six eight. Six eight. Yeah. 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 That's why I said it's not me. Why aren't you playing basketball? I Thank know, you. Right? That's exactly where I told him. I was like, you didn't even use your height. Are you serious? 
I was, yeah. I was, I was an arts kid. Like I loved arts. I was like, I would have used that. I love, so I love, I love sports now, but then <laughs> zero interest in me. You're like, yeah. go to theater. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. It's it's all him. Like he, it looks just like him. the best part is my dad. Oh, so I, I look a lot like my dad. My dad and I look very similar. And in the ultrasound pictures, it looks like he's going to look a it's lot all like, like him. Yeah. And uh, so I told and him. And then he hits puberty. And yeah. And he'll look nothing like him. <laughs> exactly, I know. I'm like, right? I'm like yeah. Hi. That's what we're really hoping. We're, we're really hoping with her skin tone and my eyes, my blue eyes. Do you know how awesome that would be? That would be very. That would be yeah. so cool. So cool. And he has to be redhead. I, she loves redheads. I love redheads. Are you? You're not a redhead. I'm not no, a redhead, redhead, but she's be careful. Redhead. I know. Yeah, every time there's yeah, a, when there's a redhead, you're redhead, like, I'm like, it's time okay, to go. over here. Yeah, I don't talk redhead. to him. I love redheads. I'm like, oh, your hair is so cute. <laughs> hey, so, opposites attract. Yes. So. Yeah, we, we have a family full. Yeah, yeah, all we my have brothers seem redheads. to marry redheads. Yeah. And, and actually, it's kids. best for the gene, gene pool, too. Because mm -hmm. you get the best of the... Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. So... I yeah. can see where where you're where you're at in that preference. So, <laughs> my, he always sees sex. Oh, she probably likes redheads because of like he always tell a story about how in Nigerians would um, Vikings would come to Nigeria. Well, in your in your in specific my tribe, tribe, in my tribe, oh, they interesting. used to trade with Vikings, and yeah. there were quite a few Vi Viking men that stayed in Nigeria and took <laughs> yeah. took Nigerian wives yeah. and like lived in Nigeria for long mm -hmm. for generations. So there are. Every once in a while, there's a kid from her tribe that's born that's redhead. full redhead. Yeah. Wow. The yeah. recessive gene yeah. really yeah. displays that. Passed, yeah. passed down. Yeah. Oh, my God. So how cool. cool. And that's also why her mom won't get to do a DNA test. Oh, yeah, She's like, I don't want to find out I'm any, anything you're but European. nature. <laughs> so your next assignment is you're going to do a screenplay on this Viking. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like you're in Village Relationship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we got our star. That would be, that would <laughs> that would be, be pretty actually great. awesome. Just in case you guys didn't know anything about Nigeria, here you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The most obscure story right. in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, her, and her tribe is a super, super small tribe, tribe. Very, very obscure tribe. In a very, I mean, uh, I've, told, I've told people in Nigeria, oh yeah, my, where's your wife from? Oh, she's from Obonama. Uh, that's not Nigeria. Yes, it yeah, is. Here, it let is. me show you on the map where it is. People don't even know that her, her village is in, oh, in wow. the country. But it is so. a big country. Yeah, yeah. So, it is. It's a very large country. Yeah. Lots of tribes, lots, lots of, of different language, tribes. Lots of different tribes. Yeah. Different, yeah. yeah, we'll we'll get to explore this more. I think, you know, this deserves a movie. So yeah, I hope so. I sparked an idea here. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I love it. So the real Nimi, yes. okay, not, as opposed to the fake one. Oh, yeah. no, there's, yeah. fake, there's fake Nimi's on yeah, there. Yeah, she's I know. They're, like, they're in Nigeria. So I know. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> the real Nimi and also Nibber, Nimi. Adokie. Adokie, which is A-D-O-K-I-Y-E. Woo! I got it. Good Photographic job. memory. So, okay. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you. Say thank bye. You.